In this video, we'll do another question looking at summing finite series using the method of differences. In part A, we are to express 2r plus 3 over r, r plus 1 in partial fractions. And in part B, it says, hence find the sum from r equals 1 to n of 2r plus 3 over r, r plus 1, multiplied by 1 over 3 to the power of r. Okay, I'm going to think of a way of approaching this, but to begin with, we'll do the first part. So let's use partial fractions, 2r plus 3 over r, and then we've got r plus 1. So what we can do is set an identity, and we can say now that this is going to be a over r plus b over r plus 1. Multiplying through now by the denominator, we're going to have 2r plus 3 will, on the left-hand side and on the right-hand side, we'll have a r plus 1 plus b multiplied by r. Considering the terms in r, a r plus b r is equal to 2r, so a plus b is equal to 2. And then if we look at the constants, we've got a is going to be equal to 3. So we can now say that b must be equal to minus 1. So there we go. What we've got then is if we express this in partial fractions, we've got 3 over r minus 1 over r plus 1. So there we go. Um, with your partial fractions, you don't need to be as thorough as you would in C4. You only offer two marks for this. Uh, the full method here, you might want to be a bit more explicit in C4, but if we offer two marks, that would be perfectly fine. So a statement I could make based on using the sum um, of a finite series, using the method of differences, is that the sum from r equals 1 to n of 2r plus 3 r r plus 1 will be equal now to the sum from r equals 1 to n of what we've just found, which is 3 over r minus 1 over r plus 1. What I'm going to do, though, is think how we can manipulate this. I'm going to sum this right here, but I'm going to incorporate this 1 over 3 to the power of r into my summation. I'll do it manually, and then what we'll say is it's going to be equal to this right at the end. So what I'm looking at doing is the following. I'm looking at summing 3 over r minus 1 over r plus 1. And I'm going to now multiply this by the 1 over 3 to the r. I'm going to use the rules of indices here um, and try and manipulate this. If I multiply this one right here, what I'm going to have is 1 over 3 to the power of r minus 1 multiplied now by r. That's a bit, if you just consider now what this is, is if we make this using rule of indices, if we could rewrite this as 3 to the r minus 1, if we have 3 to the minus 1 in the denominator, the 3 is going to end up at there. So we can multiply that and make it say 1 over 3 to the r minus 1 multiplied by the r. And then on this one, what I'm going to have it's 1 over 3 to the r, and we're going to multiply that now by the r plus 1. So that's what we'll do. So what I'm going to do is sum now. So my sum from r equals 1 to n is going to be that of 1 over 3 to the r minus 1 multiplied by r minus 1 over 3 to the power of r multiplied by r plus 1. So let's set up a little table. Okay, so r is going to be equal to 1. We'll do our workings over here. Let's just get rid of that. Don't want that. Okay, let's do our workings over here. So when r is equal to 1, what we're going to get is 1 over 3 to the 0 multiplied by 1. 3 to the 0 is just going to be 1. Okay, when I sub in here 1, 1 minus 1 is 0, 3 to the 0 is 1. So we get 1 over 1 multiplied by 1 minus 1 over 3 to the first power, which is going to be 3, multiplied by 1 plus 1, which is going to give me 2. So we can now write in that this is going to be 1 over 1, or just 1, minus 1 over 6. If we now write r is equal to 2, what we're going to end up with now, 2 minus 1 is going to give us 1. We end up quite clearly with 1 over 3 multiplied by 2. And then on this one, when we've got r is equal to 2, we're going to end up with 1 over 3 squared, which is 9. And then we're going to have this as going to be 2 plus 1, which is going to be 3. So you can see that our pattern is starting to emerge, and we'll have 
now what's that one over 27 taking r equal to 3 if we sub it in here what we're going to have now is 1 over 3 minus 1 which is going to give us 2 1 over 3 squared we know is 9 and then we multiply that by the 3 and then on this one taking 3 we're going to have 1 over 3 to the third power which is 27 multiplied now by 3 plus 1 which is 4 so this is going to give us what 1 over 27 which we wanted minus 1 over 108 awesome that's exactly what we wanted okay then we can add dot 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 right the way and we'll do the last couple r is equal to n minus 1 right let's think about what this is going to give us this is now going to give me and we'll be careful with this we've got now r to the uh, 3 to the r minus 1 so this is going to give me 3 to the n minus 1 minus 1 so this is going to give me now 3 to the n minus 2 and I'm going to multiply that now by r which is going to be n minus 1 and we're going to subtract away from that we're putting in now now uh, the r is equal to n minus 1 so we get now 3 to the n minus 1 and we're going to multiply that now by n minus 1 going in here is just going to give me n. Those 1s will cancel. So we can now say that this is going to be equal to 1 over 3 to the n minus 2 multiplied by n minus 1 minus 1 over 3 to the n minus 1 multiplied by n. Okay? And then finally, we'll just show n in our workings when r is equal to n. In fact, I'll just get rid of this bit because it's a bit cluttery. Let's put that there. Let's get rid of all of that. Let's do now n. So when r is equal to n, what we're going to have is the following. We're going to have 3, okay, so it's 1 over 3 to the n minus 1, just subbing in n here, and we're going to multiply that now by n. And then we're going to subtract away from that, subbing in now at this point n, what we're going to have is 3 to the power of n, and then we're going to be multiplying that by r plus 1. Well, r is n, so that's going to be n plus 1. So we end up now with the following. We've got 1 over 3 to the power of n minus 1, and we're going to be subtracting away from that. Uh, apologies, need my n there, don't I? Um, and we're going to be subtracting away from that this one right here, which is 3 to the power of n, and then n plus 1. Okay, so there we go. Um, now it's just a case of using our understanding that when we add this, they're all going to drop out. Let's start getting rid of them. So let's grab that one. That's what we want. So that one is going to go with that one. So just there. That one is going to go with that one. That one is going to go with the one below and so on and so forth. And you can see this one is going to go with that one. Therefore, this one is going to go with the one above it, and so on and so forth, leaving us now to make the statement that the original sum that we were looking for is going to be equal now to 1, just here. So we're going to have 1 minus 1 over 3 to the power of n, and then n plus 1. So we can now make the statement that that is equal to exactly what we were asked to find. So that is the sum from r equals 1 to n of 2r plus 3 multiplied by r, r plus 1 multiplied by 1 over 3 to the r. We end up now with 1 minus 1 over 3 to the n, n plus 1. So there we go. That's my approach. That seems pretty logical um, at this stage right here to incorporate this point. But if we're summing this, we've got it equal to that, then the general form is simply going to be multiplying it by the 1 over 3 to the r. You could get away if you didn't spot this with the rules of indices, but you, you probably it's probably easy if, if you can to rewrite it in this form. We're going to sum that. We've summed it all up. We've used the method of differences. All of this stuff in the middle collapses, and we're just left with the first and the last term. You might want to be slightly more explicit in, in, in your workings in an exam and show this, but this is where we should wind up. 1 minus 1 over 3 to the n, n plus 1. And I see no logic in combining that fraction at all. We will leave it as it is. I think the best thing to just to make 100% sure is just to write this one, be really quite clear that you've put that as 3 to the 0. That's why you've ended up getting 1 in here. That would be my only 
only alteration, I think, throughout the whole process.